Hello everyone. In this video, we shall discuss example seven of chapter number one, number system. Show that zero point three 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 dot 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 equals to zero point three bar can be expressed in the form p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero. So here we have a decimal number zero point three 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 three. and then dot 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 means it's a non terminating repeating decimal expansion 3 is repeating itself and it goes on forever so to show that we have put a bar here this bar indicates that 3 is repeating itself this number we need to write in p by q form that is as a rational number so the first step is let us call this number this decimal number as x so let x equals to zero point three 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 three. Now here is the trick. We need to multiply both sides by ten because here just one digit is repeating itself. So multiply by ten. If there are two digits which are repeating, then multiply by hundred. If there are three digits, multiply by thousand. So here is just one digit. Multiply both sides by ten. Ten x. And here, ten times zero point three 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 three. So this is ten x equals to three point three 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 three. Now write this as a whole number and a decimal expansion. So ten x is equal to three plus zero point three. Three, three, three is the same thing, right? We're just writing this as three plus zero point three 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 three. Now, this, if you see, this is actually x that we had taken as in the very beginning. So we can rewrite this as ten x equals to three plus x. Take x to the other side, so this will become nine x. Ten x minus x is nine x equals to three x. Is equal to three by nine, or we can say in simplest form one by three. So x is equal to one by three. So this is the answer. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.